treasure closets and then oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. treasure closets. Somebody was asking me what I remembered about the closets and the pictures in Mother's book. I don't really remember those. But in Annandale, over the front port, front door, there's a triangular window, and that is a little small space which you approach from the hallway through a couple of rooms, and you get down on your knees and fall through into this triangular room up there, in which mother and father had created as a as a playroom, except we were told this was school days. This was a kids, little kids. So we each had a closet, and that closet was your domain. And uh, they were in under under the eaves, and so you could fill it up with anything you want. Nobody bothered what was in it. Nobody, nobody pilfered anybody else's closet. And under the windows, they had created doll houses. Say if you took a packing box, a fruit box, and turned it on the side, and it had shelves across, only they weren't. They were built for this. And the, uh, the rooms of, the, of this box, you made into the living room and the bedroom, and you furnished it with whatever furniture you could find. It wasn't a fancy dollhouse, but it was. So those closets were lit up so you could see what you were doing? Oh, yeah. 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 It was hot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hot. Are there questions from the floor? Little stimuli that we can talk about. Will has a question. Did you, sh did you ever um, go into your little treasure closet with Mary? Did you go to each other? Did you get in? But this is the good ear. Did you ever get into the treasure closet with Mary? No, no, but there is a closet story because Ocean City, the top floor of the Ocean City house, had uh, a long bedroom, which was the girls' bedroom, and a bath, and then a small bedroom, which was for the sewing lady who came in once a summer. But off of this room, since the eaves went down like that, there were closets, and I got into one of those closets the door swung shut. Oh. I don't know how long I was in there, but it sure seemed like a million years. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Mm. I don't know who found me. Obviously, I was found, because you lucky <laughs> <did. laughs> <laughs> That's one scary thing in my life. Yeah, fine. Which of your siblings was the most mis mischievous? Which of the siblings was the most mischievous? Bruce? Bruce. 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 Like you were in. Everybody had assigned duties. What sort of duty did the boys have? What sort of duty did the girls have? <coughs> who worked harder? Who slacked off? I know my That's father easy. played the accord, <laughs> played the bench. <laughs> 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 what else went on there in terms of the Well, Annandale had two fireplaces. You had the wood had to come in and the ashes had to go out. But since the fireplaces were indoors, because the girls' work was the indoors and the boys' was the outdoors, and we figured that since four boys, six girls, <laughs> we figured that since the wood came in, had to be brought in, and the ashes had to be taken out, that was the boys' job, and the boys, of course, figured that since they were inside, it was our job. <laughs> and it was things like uh, feeding the rugs. In those days, we beat rugs. And uh, the rugs are part of the indoor house, so the girls ought to do it, but it's done outside of the house. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, there's a lot of altercation, as I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Who got off the easiest here? Oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary, because Mary? she was lazy. Yeah. 
<laughs> she wasn't lazy as much as she could figure ways to get out. She was intelligent. <laughs> Where's that leave me? We have Steve, a question. Would you ask the Queen to describe New Year's Day in Philadelphia and the Mummers Parade? Mummers mm. Parade. Oh, yeah. 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 Philadelphia from no. Adderdale was a 25 mile drive. And this is on a local highway going through all the towns of the, uh, of the Lincoln Highway. So it wasn't an easy trip into town. And uh, mother was always tired, especially her feet. But she would see that we got to these big events like the Mother's Day Parade on New Year's Day. The mummers were, I think it's much like the uh, uh, Mardi Gras. Yeah. And, a, and then there's clubs who create the floats and the costumes to work all year long for this one day event. And I remember her taking us to that at the park in, park in the Philadelphia and walked her kids to a good site. Must have been really tough for mother. And she even took us to a New Year's Eve in, in Philadelphia once to watch the, uh, uh, they didn't have a ball for it, but they had something to celebrate 12 o'clock. Now, did she drive? Did mother drive? Oh, yes. mother was a famous Three. driver. Oh. What? Did she drive? Three. Did mother drive? Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, the she family, was well, an early driver she was. Yeah. Will's had a question. Paul has a question. Aunt Sarah, could you tell us about the cameo you're wearing? Oh, yeah. oh well, please, I, yes. I don't know much about it, because I don't know how it got into the family. But my grandmother, that is my mother's mother, who was Sarah Jane Proctor. It was hers, whether Josiah Kendall, her husband, Bought it, bought it for her, I don't know. But it stayed in the family, and, grand, and my grandmother wore it in all her pictures. And so my mother inherited it, but unfortunately I did. Yeah. And I have no idea of its age or its value. I've never had any value in one. I have a good close look at it. It's a lovely young lady in profile with grapes and grape leaves over it. This has something to do with wine. <laughs> was it, was there like a difference because I know you were like 10 years younger than Al when she was taking care of it? And then? The difference in the ages. How did the difference in ages, you were the youngest, yeah. Alan was the oldest. Alan was 11 years older than me. So the, the 10 yeah. children in 11 years, they yeah. had a new baby yeah. every year because there were no <coughs> twins. The missing year was a miscarriage. <coughs> if you know what a miscarriage is, mother said that she lost the baby. She wrapped it up in newspaper and exposed it. What? What else was it like having having this spread of years, spread of ages. You had these well, wonderful older brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Not well, like me. Who protected you and took care of you. Looking at these Wallace boys, your father had a roommate, I think it was a roommate, who came to at the family dance, he asked me to dance, and he was, I think he was my first romance. Mm -hmm. Alan's brother, who asked me to dance, I was all dressed up in my first dance dress, which was the style, was short at the knees and the ankle length in the back. Oh. 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 And he came to my wedding, he's pictured in my wedding. Oh. That was crazy. Oh. Mm. Any other questions on the floor? Yeah. Ed has a question. Well, I'm wondering on the same line as Will's question, and that is, were you spoiled in any way as being <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no. One of the big 
previous questions asked about our jobs. We all had jobs as well as uh, my children did when they were growing up. And uh, most of the jobs in that family were, everybody did it. I mean, they dishes, whoever was around did it. And you had to do your own room 